Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my Retribution Paladin PvP Guide. In this guide I'm gonna be covering my talents, my glyphs, my gemming and my enchantments. So let's get started with my talents. The Retribution Paladin talent tree right now is pretty straightforward. At the first tier, Long Arm of the Law basically gives us the most movement speed overall, so it's the best choice. The next tier, both Repentance and Evilness of Point of View both have cost times, which makes Fist of Justice a lot better. The level 45 tier, Selfless Healer gives us the most healing, so why would you ever fucking pick Eternal Flame or Sacred Shield? I don't know. The level 60 tier, Hand of Purity, can be used against Dot Cleaves, however, Clemency is a lot better than Unbreakable Spirits. Retribution Paladins are a burst class, we are not a sustained damage class, with me which means that Holy Adventure is better than Sanctified Wrath and Divine Purpose, and Execution Sentence is better than Light's Hammer and Holy Prism, simply because these two talents gives us the most burst. Going over to the Glyphs, we have Glyph of Burn of Guilt, Glyph of Templar's Verdict, and Glyph of Divine Shield. Both Glyph of Burn of Guilt and Glyph of Tempers Verdict are the best two Retribution Paladin Glyphs. However, Glyph of Divine Shield can be switched out to either Divine Protection, which gives us uh, more vulnerability against um, physical damage dealers, and Glyph of Double Jeopardy, which gives us more damage. As for the gemming and enchanting, Strength is the best stat for Retribution Paladins, followed by Haste, followed by Crit, followed by Mastery. Some guides will tell you that mastery is better than crit, however this is not the case. The reasoning for this is that healing is a big part of playing the Retribution Paladin, and mastery does not in any fucking way help your healing, however crit benefits your healing a lot, so it's a much better stat. Uh, so, when jamming, you always want to jam for the socket bonuses. The reasoning for this is that uh, although haste is a bit worse than strength, the difference isn't that big, which makes jamming for socket bonuses worth it. Uh, when enchanting, you want to enchant for as much strength as possible, and uh, then followed by, yeah, haste, of course. You do not have to worry about expertise or hit, because when you are maxed gear, these stats will automatically get hit and expertise capped. And that's it for my Retribution Paladin PvP guide, stay tuned for a montage at the end of this video, thanks.